Today I will summarize several visits I paid to father at Home for Elderly People in the city of Novo Mesto. Uh, I believe that my father alone is um, impressed with the work I have done so far. Till today I actually do not even know that my father who always protested against my even using computer and called one and referred to one as a source of all the problems um, he would not touch computer in his lifetime and he deemed that computer was guilty for everything knowing that exactly about what went on and i'm not going to go into those issues um however i have to say that it became evident that my last few visits I paid to my father uh, made father greatly self-confident. There is people that translate in the news that I do, stuff I do. Somebody is delivering him news um, there is people in home for elderly people that know my father not only workers employees uh, and well he is very very much familiar with my case and so i had no idea till today and right now is already february the 26th 2024 but I'm referring to the visit of yesterday, the morning hours of February 26th, therefore February the 25th of 2026, that my father actually contemplated it on becoming my witness. Uh, I had no idea because the MK Ultra works like this that till you actually somebody gives you certain signals and certain signs reminders of what went on on how he view or she view your case uh, you actually have no idea about um, in this case certain issues like extremely extremely unlikely you know um my father contemplated on becoming my witness if, however, and I recall this when he stated to me during an MK Ultra, it absolutely didn't make me any fucking sense. I didn't say this to him because he had his, um, in my eyes at the time, totally unrealistic expectations for me. It didn't make any fucking sense to me that somebody could possibly accomplish something I did. Uh, that you would go and thoroughly investigate people that you actually you didn't even see. I mean, you know that exists. You know they were here. You know that you know about what went on. Uh, it, I would have such ability, basically, people that that met me jocked up that one has ability to actually analyze and see things even if jocked up you know when if you're blind that's one thing right but when you are jocked up and stuff is happening through your subconscious i had no idea that i possibly could go and do you know stuff like this i know there was an entire different world out there parallel to, to the world that went on, like when I was not drugged up, but I had no idea that I had a capacity to go as deep into analysis uh, as I have done it. I, especially because of the health problems, and I'm going to tell you that was times 
it, I think that explains enough. I could not walk up the stairs because of the cancer-related problems. Uh, it was times when I needed 20 minutes time to pick myself up because I, I bordered on totally losing conscience. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to forget when I became weak and uh, have fell on the floor and somehow dragged myself into my room and uh, fell on, on, on uh, not on the mattress, but on that uh, foam that you use for sleeping. And I needed some time to get my shit together. I had no idea that I'm going to honestly to even leave that long. And um, the problems that I managed to overcome, and somehow always, like in a last second, and managed to basically pull myself out of it and keep going and keep going and keep going and eventually just work and keep going and doing this stuff. Uh, I I had no idea that. Um, his expectations that in MK Ultra were totally, totally unrealistic. It was totally unrealistic stuff he was talking to me about uh, and even stated me they were making fun um, of what I frequently during MK Ultra would have diarrhea because of the liver, because of the kidney problems they were, because of the poisoning that went on with so many problems they created. Uh, and with this kind of expectations, this is the world of MK Ultra that went on. Cancer issues. Um, that's one thing, but when you when you when you go face to face with this kind of issues in real time, uh, they, they were actually making fun of of, uh, of these issues, making fun of my urine. And I'll never forget Nurse Yanko when he stated me that when I'm going to be coming at home for elderly people, how they're going to have a cameras installed in the toilets that they're going to be using to watch even my color of my urine, how it's going to look like and so on, and that how this is going to be like. I'm going to be urinating blood and stuff like this, which I did. And we're making fun of that. Or you're going to go use the restroom and the only thing that's going to be, it's going to be out of your ear, it's going to be, uh, you know, they, they, were, they were sampling me from cows and stuff when they would take me for a walk during MK Ultra, diarrhea and stuff like this, this is how you're going to be and so on. And, uh, and it was times like this. I faced critical, critical, critical times. And um, so <laughs> I know that he is impressed because... He started to act completely normally. He started to act completely competent. Uh, is not into any kind of stuff that went on before. Uh, he is glad of my visits. He's happy of my visits. He eventually asked me today. He wants to get the hell out of their home. He wants to return home. And I'm really glad to hear, to hear him saying that. Because I'm looking forward to get him home as fast as possible and start my own rehabilitation. I've seen the sign on Tuesdays they, that he selected to go on a bike therapy or, you know, on a bicycle. I think he's not suitable for that type of therapy. And I think, frankly, that with his health problems, I think there's many other exercise that should be done on a daily basis. like. There is always a start for the person that cannot even put himself into um, vertical position, basically. He is not capable to actually, I'm not going to say stand up. He's not capable, absolutely not to stand up. Uh, I think that type of stuff does more harm than any good. If you do this once per week to the person, you still fucking kill him. I mean, this is logical thing, you know. 
it, it, it set me almost on my rear when I saw that sign posted next to his bed. Um, but that he actually is competent and uh, he reminded me of certain issues uh, that helped me uh, investigate some more stuff uh, with reminding me also that he would like to be my witness, in fact, first witness about what went on. If I would make sure that I investigate thoroughly and I understand what type of environment was around me, okay. what is better for me to say than to use like example from this here about this issue here about the police say um, yesterday again again because you know when I start investigating something you know MK Ultra they told me you're going to be investigating this stuff yourself I did not understood I thought this is joke Something like this is crazy. I mean, how can somebody go and investigate stuff like that? It's quite crazy. Uh, I concluded that uh, it doesn't make any sense, you know. Uh, but, for instance, the stuff here, you know, that I learned about this stuff here, for instance. You know, I learned quite a lot of things, you know. I learned quite a lot of things about my father, you know. Um, you know, about his fall, about his problems that he had, that he faced, about how he became blind, basically, half blind, if not worse than that. Um, I would not even refer to this stuff as an accident. I don't think it was an accident. Uh, there is a great possibility that police have even found an individual who might have... Uh, kicked my father, pushed my father. Uh, they stated me, police stated me, that if I would go and investigate, if I would go thoroughly investigate the incident in respect to 2018 about what happened to my father uh, before I left to Poland, however, they would not disclose me the name, Police stated me, and if you will go investigate that incident, you will catch your friend. You will catch your friend. And when I was asking who, what friend, which friend, who's who friend, friend who, they would not tell me. They would not tell me about uh, what friend, who friend. I don't have any kind of friends that I would have ordered, uh, requested to come in the house and do something like this to my father. That is crazy. So police, in respect to the father's incident in 2018, knows something more about that I'm talking about when the father had fallen inside of the room. He said, if you're going to go and the police investigator whom I have requested the medical files from at the police station, a criminal stated me during MK Ultra that if I would go and investigate that issue, that I will catch my friend. And when I was asking him who, which friend, he would not answer me the question. Uh, the thing is that I learned a lot of things about the car, basically, how they drove his car, how they were using his fishing equipment, how they were using his they had access to the guns, weapons. They had access to his fishing room, to his hunting room. Whenever he would buy, they would start to fuck with and causing him damage, destroying him things. Here I'm talking about the son from Berger Miroslav, let's say. Alex Berger, who was extremely aggressive, nasty with others from the village that would basically wander through the house and do whatever they were pleased to the MK Ultra. Talk about the police officer operating father is car and so on and so on and so on. Talking about the issues 
that involved modification of the car. Basically, I was told that car have certain problems, such as uh, when you push on the pedal, that car starts and so on, that they did that kind of stuff. Uh, they talked about Bluetooth issues that they, they used on the car, that they, it would be What, to what problems I also have experienced. There was all kinds of stuff. Uh, play with the wipers. I had video recorded how they entered the car and play with the wipers. Uh, I have uh, play with the garage door when the old man, 80 years old, 88, 90 year old man would come out, return home with the car and would try to rear the car in the back. Uh, he became, he was, he acted crazy all the time. Uh, all, uh, you know, it takes you seconds basically to rear, to put the car inside of the garage, basically in, in reverse. And it would take him fucking half an hour, basically. I was asking, Father, what's the matter? Put the fucking car inside. I mean, uh, and he would go out and he would always make sure that the door is like this, the door is. You know, I experienced these issues myself when father was not here with a rug moving back and forth uh, with wipers turned, rear wipers, front wipers, uh, driving one fucking insane. I don't know how that will be for a 90-year-old man. Uh, come back from the store, put the car inside of the garage, left the keys inside of the garage door. And... The neighbors took the fucking key out of the garage door when I was uh, taking the car in reverse inside of the garage. Uh, went to close the door, could not find the fucking key inside of the garage. Went inside of the car, looked all over the fucking car so that I could find one. Uh, and the key again appeared inside of the garage door and stuff like this. They were driving him fucking nuts. They were driving him crazy. Nurse Yanko had initiative through which he wanted father to see, literally to engage against me as much as possible, assuring him he's got nothing to worry about because he's so big and strong. Uh, exampled violence on me in front of the father so he could see and so on. The father had a certain problems. My father is not a young man, and in the world, when you have a police director coming in the house with the police officers doing this kind of stuff, I admit that is a hard thing to do. However, no, I will not allow anyone pass without giving a full account about the stuff I have written, talk about on my blog, because there's not a trace of lie over there. Those are facts. They're just hardcore written facts there. I am pleased, I'm happy that my father actually have considered to become, he was not the only one who referred to that as first witness. He was not the one who referred himself as a first witness. Somebody else did. So father contemplated eventually to become my witness. He did, however, suggested me that I would have to invest the whole thing by myself to see and so on so that he could confirm my account. Obviously, because it's so much stuff that needed to be done. And obviously, that stuff is now pretty much being done. There's been, I'm sure there is much more that needs to be done, but there is a lot of stuff that's been done. And by having those things eventually confirmed, uh, it's not bad. My father doesn't behave anymore crazy. My father behaved now completely sanely. Uh, and I have prepared you a list of videos. Unfortunately, I've made a big mistake during video recording because during the video recording, I, uh, I usually take a certain corner, which I use to video record him. And um, I have no idea. Today, he was... He had a big pillow underneath, uh, turned in an opposite direction. I was going to use also the camera, as you see right here, I'm recording with, obviously, with the laptop. Uh, it did not work out. Uh, unexpectedly, 
I did not record him properly with this damn camera. Let me see something else. Uh, catastrophically bad video recording it is. Um, I was just really, really sure that uh, that that was a good job, and I did the shit job. I did the worst job ever. Um, but because I did video record it from two angles, uh, somehow it does adds up together, you know. So um, if I go to these tapes and I give you a quick background of it of this tape. Um, this is very, very important for me to stress out about behavior of the father because they listed him as mentally unstable, uh, mentally not present, um, like, like this, you would say, uh, my father is not relaxed. Um, he is just collected. He is completely aware of its surroundings. He acts intelligently. Um, in the past, he was using certain issues that involved MK Ultra stuff that were literally used from the playbook written by psychiatrist Peter Kafsch to drive me crazy, to remind me of certain issues, to drive me insane does not do that anymore uh he's just he did certain things to remind me of certain issues like when the police would have me next to his bed and they would go and close in his eyelids and the first time he was afraid just like i have written about uh and they started to calm him not to worry about him this and that you know insanity terror when I consider this kind of issue that he would go to the old man, that you force him to go in the bed and do this kind of stuff for you, and then you start to close his eyes and stuff like this, you're fucking insane over there at the police, at this psychiatrist and this police. You're not, you're not, you're not fucking sober doing this kind of stuff. This clearly is about mentally deranged people completely. It's like totally fucking out of the fucking mind like you're fucking nuts like they suggested me how i have to what kind of movies that i have to suggest for my father and how i have to take care and how i have to make sure that uh you know sadistically basically not out of consideration for father but really sadism uh, how you have to take care of your daddy and uh, you know pet him and and you know and so on Pure sadism, really. You know, uh, they knew exactly the type of circumstances they're going to be using him for, and the outcome they hoped for they would somehow develop. You know, but the fuck, man, that you would go, and man that actually subjects himself to the torture for which you pay. I don't know how much the fuck they pay six thousand dollars per month, I think, to the young people to lay down on a bed like for thirty days. The man is 92, uh, and you start to fuck with him even to close the eyelids and everything. It's not enough. You put the fucking Bluetooth uh, earbuds, not earbuds, but I don't know, cochlear implant or whatever, Bluetooth, whatever it is, in his ear channels. Uh, it's not enough. Father told me also they're going to do that stuff to him. He told me that he does have that stuff to him. Psychiatrist cop stated that to me. However, they also told me that I would not be capable to see that kind of stuff. So when father, whenever I would approach to him to his bed and he signaled me the ears and this and that and so on, uh, I had no capacity to, to view what is inside of his ears. It didn't make any fucking sense for me to do the stuff when you cannot see stuff like that, you know. Uh, especially I would not go and do that kind of stuff because of the way he behaved, right? Because anything you would touch him, anything you would touch him, he would be like agitated and so on. You know, you know how he acted. Uh, so he doesn't act like that anymore. He acts in a different way. He acts 
if you ask me completely normally, and he also hears without the hearing aid, right? So now this he can hear and understand without the hearing aid. Uh, you know there is something different about the whole damn thing. <clears throat> Obviously, uh, having on one side expectations on how, uh, you know, you know, to treat daddy, uh, they were reminding me, you know, of, of torture, talking about the nursing staff. Uh, on the torture they did to me in front of the father and on the torture in which they involved father alone. Many different issues from many different angles. They tried to drive me crazy. They targeted with many different issues from many different angles. On the other hand, like I said, they started to close his eyelids and stuff like this, which becomes evident from recording, which I did on February the 22nd. Uh, today, you're going to see me actually from yesterday, which was February the 25th. Um, he acted completely normally, correctly. Um, he was a little bit depressed because of what I stated uh, on the blog. But I had to state this stuff on the blog. I have to clarify these issues on the blog. Uh, finally, it makes job easy for him. If he had his intentions really that he would witness for me, uh, that much easier the job for him, basically. Uh, I know I did the job because I fulfilled even his extreme, I'm going to say, requirements he had, right? And requirements from somebody else, obviously from police. So um, I'm pleased with it, and I'm looking forward to rehabilitate father properly, so that uh, just as I told him when he asked me if I go fishing, that we can go fish together. That's all there is to it. Uh, you're also going to have a tape over there you're going to have two tapes from today, which is February the 25th of 2024. Uh, basically, like I said, these are just morning hours of February the 26th. Um, big mistake. Uh, I asked him about the meetings. They suggested there would be people meeting him every day and talking to him about the website, about the stuff that I write and so on. He did me a confirmation. However, the problem, big problem is I did not properly record with his camera and I did not uh, properly record with Android because of the corner, the way he was placed. However, due to talk, due to the words I use, I can assure you that uh, father was just starting to grab himself for the hair when uh, I mentioned him Sestanek meetings, basically in Slovenian language, uh, very responsive, very easy to understand uh, from the tapes, it absolutely is evident that I always make the recap once I'm done with this stuff, also an audio recorder and so on, that uh, Father is completely responsive, acts completely intelligently, answers basically the questions practically without my, with the signs, uh, if not verbally, uh, reminds, still gives some reminder here and there of MK Ultra or something, uh, but he is, he, he responds, okay? So from these tapes, which go all the way to February the 19th, uh, so you have February 19, February the 22nd, the 20, February the 23, I already put it on, February 19, February the 22nd, and today you're going to have February the 25th. So this is three days I cover. I actually present him as, yeah, as normal, as collective person, everything okay. My mother stayed at the Rimanki Ultra, 
Uh, and however, I hope also that this, this will not be the case with my niece, that if the father will be coming home, that she will not stay at home. All this shit went on during MK Ultra. I have to tell you all this stuff. So we're going to have all kinds of dramas and this and that, which I plan on solving very, very quickly through the Slovenian state, which owes a lot of fucking money. It's not going to be a problem, I think, to solve this kind of issues really, really fast. That's all there is to it. I don't have anything else I would say below this video, below this explanation. You're going to have these videos listed really fast. Uh, all the videos listed, we're going to use that as a proof next to the audio and so on. Enjoy. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time. It was at home for elderly people in the city of the Novo Master, just as you see right there. The address. Now we're going to take a time when I video recorded this issue. Uh, very, very, very bad video recording. Now I will know how to do a better job. Um, accidentally, somehow, things did not fall to place. But I'm very, very positive, very happy about uh, the whole thing. Especially because he indicated he wants to come home, basically. Because his behavior changed tremendously. It changed tremendously. And this will be related to the issues. For me, when it comes to this issue, the most important is the issue right here that I mentioned. This is about the nurse Yanko. Can you imagine in what kind of element my father has found himself? Uh, not exactly the best element. Uh, nurse Yanko, who all the time had police officers inside my father, in front of nurse Yanko, with nurse Yanko encouraging one in violence against me did not comply with them. That's already one plus that I have to say. Uh, they were pressuring him. Uh, it's clearly who was behind my 2012 psychiatric hospitalization. I'm not going to say who incited him only in it, but who also pressured him in it. Everything now depends on my father. And the truth uh, with me is fine. I am going to get one out of these people one way or another. You just got to help yourself, basically. And this issue here. So. This issue here. What exactly did police meant that if I would go and investigate this issue, that I would get my friend. I have no idea who the fuck would be my friend. It appears that police, however, already have investigated this issue. Well, if you investigate the issue like this, and you do not investigate the issue like this, then you're definitely not a police, for one thing. This is one of the issues I will come to the bottom to. This here will be the main issue I uh, will post today uh, for all the videos, for all the three days that, that, that summarizes the three days. That's what this is going to be about. So those videos that I'm going to release below, those are basically, I don't really have so much time, but people that are, uh, that speak Slovenian language, that understand Slovenian language will. Uh, somewhat, somehow, confirm that stated here are actually facts. Well, there is no such thing like actually here. Everything I state is the way it is. <laughs>